Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing good today. So there is some more news that's coming out with this whole Diddy investigation. But I want to take you guys back to a time and space real quick because some new video and pictures have leaked of Diddy. So if you guys remember back in about 2013, Lady Gaga and, you know, several other celebrities caught a lot of flack because... Pictures came out from an art show that was ran by Marina Abramovic, who is one of Jay-Z's good friends, honey. You know, they call her a performance artist, but I call her a witch. I have done deep dives on Marina Abramovic and, you know, now her teaching the children in Ukraine and all that stuff, right? So um, a few years ago, she did this ghoulish performance art where she had naked models laying in what is chocolate, but it's supposed to be blood. And they're laying in there naked and Lady Gaga and other people, you see they all have little tiny spoons in their hands and they're eating the chocolate off of these naked models. So when this went viral on social media, people were like really creeped out. Here's another picture of this young man who's naked. Um, it looks like he's covered in ash and legend has it he hasn't been seen since that part i'm just saying okay so this went viral years ago and now there are new videos coming out of diddy it looks like he was participating in his own black version of this nonsense in miami so this video was sent to the new york post and basically it's showing um diddy with a bunch of other black celebrities and they're eating food off of naked models and so here's the video right here. You see the ladies nude. The only thing covering is her, you know, they're covering her private area. But Diddy's eating fruit off of her. Will Smith is there, Fonsworth Bentley, Vivica Fox. So it's almost like the black folks in Hollywood are following the same rituals that they've been taught and that they've learned. So that video is currently going viral on social media. So when I saw that, it reminded me of the controversy with Lady Gaga all those years ago. So now in other news, Diddy has another accuser coming out. And um, she said that not only was she drugged and sexually assaulted by Diddy, but that he got her pregnant. So this is being reported today on TMZ. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys here. So they're saying Diddy is facing a new lawsuit by a woman who claims the rat mogul drugged and assaulted her and continued to menace and intimidate her. In new documents filed obtained by TMZ, a Jane Doe claims that the Bad Boy Records founder repeatedly assaulted her over a four-year period. And she says in one of the encounters, it resulted in her getting pregnant, but she ended up suffering a miscarriage. The anonymous woman represented by attorney Joseph L. Ciasio claims that she first met Diddy overseas in the fall of 2020 and was invited to join the rapper on an all expense paid trip. Okay. Once again, ladies, everything that glitters is not gold. A major person like Diddy is not going to fly you out on an all expense paid trip out of the kindness of his heart. So we have to start, you know what I'm saying? We, we have to start seeing through the nonsense. I'm not victim shaming, but that should be a red flag right there because if this man is paying to fly me overseas, all expense paid, what does he want in return, okay? Let me keep reading. The woman says she saw Diddy regularly between 2021 and 2022 with the rapper and his team arranging for her to meet with him at his homes in Los Angeles, New York, Miami, and other various locations. However, she claims she did not travel on her own volition, claiming Diddy and his staff would use corrosive and harassing language to make her agree. She says drivers would show up at her home and take her to Diddy, which left her feeling like she didn't have a choice in the matter. The woman alleges that Diddy also used to spike alcoholic beverages as a way to force her to do his bidding, saying Diddy forced her to have sexual intercourse in April 2022 while she was in his LA home. She claims that she sustained physical injuries from these encounters with Diddy, including one during a spring 2022 visit where she was left with purple bruises and bite marks on her feet. Damn, this bootleg cannibal is out here biting people's feet? 
what in the world is going on at these damn freak offs? Then she says she does not remember how she got the injuries. The woman also accused Diddy of forcing her to take ketamine and other drugs in July of 2022, which resulted in her blacking out. It was after that alleged incident that she says she got pregnant. According to the suit, one of Diddy's associates called her and repeatedly harassed her into getting an abortion, but she says she ultimately suffered a miscarriage. She also says she tried to get space from Diddy after the miscarriage, but Diddy would allegedly harass her with calls and texts again until she agreed to see him, which she, which she claims continued through July 2024. So mind you, in this time frame, he's publicly with Carisha. That's his, you know, do wop the bop, bop, bop. But behind the scenes, it's all this stuff going on with this woman. And this was as recently as July 2024. Remember in Little Rod's lawsuit, he was saying that, you know, they were doing these drugs. Carisha was there, Carisha's cousin. So Carisha may have been involved in this situation with this woman here. Also, Diddy is very prone to forcing people to get abortions. If you guys remember Winter Blanco, the one who has the teeth issues, she came out years ago talking about how she was pregnant by Justin Combs, who is Diddy's son with Misa. And basically their entire family, you know, pressured her to, they pressured her into getting an abortion because they did not think she was up to par, I guess. And they didn't want Justin having a baby with her. So I definitely believe what this woman is saying because Winter Blanco said the same thing years ago that she was pressured into getting an abortion with Justin's baby. She feared for her safety during that time, having witnessed Diddy slap and abuse other women. She also alleges that he found some way to track her location and monitor her conversations. She claims Diddy continued to contact her. She says Diddy continues to contact her till this day, attempting to control and intimidate her. The woman says she suffered trauma, financial injury, physical injury, and is seeking an unspecified amount of damages. We reached out to Diddy's rep for comment, but so far, no word back. So that is another lawsuit. Now, let me tell y'all this. I was told by an inside source who is very close to the case that this Diddy situation is going to make R. Kelly look like a choir boy, or should I say altar boy in my Diddy voice. Um, this situation is 10 times worse than anything R. Kelly was doing. And the fact that this was still going on up until the time this man got arrested. So the rabbit hole goes deep with this. Now, if you guys do not know, attorney Tony Busby, who is a well-renowned attorney down there in Texas, he's known for working for free while he goes and he sorts through a lot of high profile cases and then he gets his money on the back end, okay? So right now it's being announced. So right now he took to his social media page and he posted this. It says, Tony Busby, the Busby Law Firm has been associated with the Ava Law Group to act as lead counsel to pursue claims on behalf of more than 50 individuals who suffered sexual assault and abuse by the hands of Sean Diddy Combs and his cohorts. This group of brave individuals, including both men and women, were minors when the abuse occurred. Some of these brave individuals reported the incidences to the police, others did not. Each individual story is gut-wrenching and heartbreaking. The acts complained of occurred at hotels, private homes, also at the infamous Diddy freak-off parties. Violations against this group of individuals are mind-boggling and can only be described as debauchery and depravity. Okay, those are some strong words. Exacted by powerful people against minors and the weak. They said minors. Remember, I said that the other day in my live stream when Dusty Umar was trying to act like, oh, it was just a prostitution thing. He was just playing for prostitutes. No, there are minors in the mix. And remember, in the Little Rod lawsuit, he was stating the way, the way that the minors were being bought into the Diddy freak-offs were because of Justin and Christian Combs. His younger sons were, were the ones coercing the minors to come into the boat, to come on the freak-offs and everything else. So they were definitely minors involved. So let's stop trying to change the narrative. I expect the group seeking redress will grow. I expect that many individuals will be implicated. Okay, listen to what he's saying. I expect that many other individuals will be implicated. 
meaning a lot of these high profile people who've been running with Diddy, that's why a lot of them are nervous. <laughs> I think that's why Ray J keeps trying to get ahead of the story and go, and go on Chris Cuomo's show to look like the good guy in them three-piece double-breasted suits because folks are talking. Cassie helped to open up the can of worms for these victims, and now they're ready to tell their story. He also goes on to say, we expect to have a press conference early next week where some of these stories can be told as the nation learns more and grapples with the potential scope of this scandal. Our firm has always been at the forefront of the most important cases in the United States. We are proud to represent this group of brave souls and pray for justice on their behalf. If you know of an individual seeking assistance who was abused as described above, please do not hesitate to encourage them to contact our firm. The consultation is confidential. Tony Busby don't play. Like I said, he's one of the top attorneys, and that's how he makes his money. He does all this stuff pro bono. They go through the research. They make sure everything is vetted and verified, and he gets his money on the back end. So if Tony Busby and the Busby Law Firm is jumping on this case, it's very serious. So like I told y'all, the stuff that's going to come out about Diddy is way more crazier than anything that came out about R. Kelly, okay? Now, what's very interesting is I also ran across this old video of Diddy talking about R. Kelly and saying how he still listens to R. Kelly's music and he's not making excuses for him. So I think this might be why R. Kelly is out here trying to low-key have Diddy's back. So y'all go ahead and check out this video really quick. All the R&B records you want, but then you start getting to a space where you like, God, I can't play this. People do not mean it feel a little uneasy, right? So all I'm saying is that space is there and it's time for us to fill that, that space. space yeah. we got you. All, all, all I want to say is be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> I, ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I listen to some R. Kelly. Like, you have to. It's no way you can't. That's no, what I'm saying. You, no, it's yo, no way you can't. I listened to it and I was like, yo, I gotta, I was like, I, I gotta separate it. Cause I was just like, man. The boy, man. I was like, man, man. I was like, that's a big, big part of R&B. You know what I'm saying? And that baby making music. And yeah, everybody's gonna be like, anything's controversial, but y'all fronting. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't listen to some R. Kelly or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but that, that. <laughs> That yo know, yo know, my people people behind me are like no no, no. <laughs> that's what I'm saying that, I know I get it listen, don't like even I I you can't even I, listen to I, it I, I understand I'm yo I know how to like, separate I, I, the two I, I, I don't condone we, anything but hey I'm still yeah you may come in my crib and hear R Kelly record hey I said it y'all I said it I'm sorry but I gotta tell you the truth though you know what I'm saying and I don't condone nothing else it's still like no why what are you doing. <laughs> Nah, so every all right so you guys just saw that clip so now let me read to you guys what um the conversation between radar online and r kelly and they're saying that basically kelly is defending diddy saying i don't believe none of that shit you could tell me about puffy you could tell me about anybody you could tell me on the news the weather the sky is blue i'm not gonna believe this shit he also allegedly claimed that celebrities are being targeted by federal authorities who defends Diddy by suggesting he was singled out due to his flashy lifestyle. Kelly reportedly added, this shit is crazy. Motherfuckers is out here laughing and making comedian jokes and doing all this other shit on the radio and everything else. But they asked could be next. So that is what he told Radar Online just yesterday when they did the interview with him. And I find it funny because five months ago he did a um, phone interview with WAC 100 and he basically said the same thing, that people need to stop laughing. You got these comedians cracking jokes when they ask could be next. And I wonder if he's repeating that because he may be speaking about Nick Cannon. Because if you guys don't know, you know, Nick Cannon recently dropped a comedic video a few days ago where he's making fun of the baby oil situation. The baby did as well, which to me, the baby has no room to talk about anybody with his, you know, beat down allegations that he has against him. 
But it's very interesting that R. Kelly is saying that. Like, yeah, I might want to simmer down with the jokes and the, you know, the comedic takes because your ass could be next. I wonder if that's some type of signal towards Nick Cannon. Hey, Nick, what's up? How are... Oh. What the... No, I got 12 kids. I need this. Oh, yeah. Well, I just had a baby. I'll take one. Can I have one? Yeah. No, diddy. <laughs> Gotta make sure nobody watch it from their balconies. And I think that was a shot at Nick Cannon. He's cracking jokes with this white lady. And when I seen it, I was disgusted. I'm like, you really should be the last to even crack jokes on this situation. Because, sir, you got songs with R. Kelly. We ain't forgot the song Gigolo. I remember when R. Kelly was first getting arrested, you were trying hard to distance yourself. Because I did a whole live stream about Nick Cannon, Russell Simmons, and all their antics and their connections to R. Kelly. And on top of that, you have all these kids with different women, and some of them are bitter. You better hope that the wildin' out girls don't start spilling your tea happen on your platform. That comment that R. Kelly made was definitely a shot towards Nick Cannon. He really should simmer down. It's crazy. That's what I say, motherfuckers, motherfuckers. Out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all that other shit on the radio and everything else, but they ass could be next. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's what's so yeah, fucked that's up about it. They're so stupid. They're so stupid they don't even realize the move that's going on. I mean, it's crazy, yeah, man. Real. If we look at it, one of the... He had all of the attractiveness that would lure, you know, innocent women in, the, the money, the power, the fame, the, the fun. The it looked charisma, like it, yeah. before, you know, before this year, a Diddy party sounded like a good time. Right. <laughs> you know, we, oh, you, I remember being 16, 17, standing out in the cold in New York, trying to get into a Diddy party right. that every celebrity or I've DJed parties at Diddy's house where Every celebrity, they may not be talking about it right now, but no, no. every A-list celebrity in the world was there. And you're like, this is, this is the holy grail. We and no, no, no weird stuff going. Everybody's enjoying themselves and having a good time. But now the definition of a ditty party yeah. is, it's so no ditty. It, it, yeah, right. It, All right, see, I just saw that clip in the cannon and the jokes that he had. So now the news is also reporting on Tony Busby as well. So I want to go ahead and play y'all this news clip really quick. Actor exclusive tonight, famed Houston attorney Tony Busby is taking on Sean P. Diddy Combs. Today, Busby confirmed to me he has been retained by at least, get this, 55 people who are suing the hip hop mogul. Busby says those cases vary from sex assault to sexual abuse and trafficking. They're expected to be filed in about a week or so in court. Busby also expects a number of plaintiffs to continue to rise, but he did not indicate to me where all of the alleged victims are located. These cases are all civil cases and not criminal. Busby says he will make a public statement on Friday. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping what do y'all think about this what do you guys think about the latest accuser also how do y'all feel about tony busby jumping on the case like i said you know the situation with diddy has the power to take down not only the entire music industry but entertainment in general and political and even the religious circles because we know T.D. Jakes was all up on Diddy as well. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that man was very confident with his penis in his mouth. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the video with a like. Feel free to share the video. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.